Ah, yes. So, uh, Kamiko, I see you still trying it, huh? Guess what, baby? Them little vague posts and stuff that you posting on Facebook. And then you want to try to get on my post and try to talk about I got man hands. It's all right, baby. It's all right, baby. I know you jealous because you wasn't there so you could get some, too, on your little crib keep glad hands. You know? It's okay. You can be jealous. You still ass hurt because you couldn't come to the retreat. I get it, baby. I get it. I don't told you not to come for me, but now that you don't came for me, you finally trying to come for me and you still can't say my damn name. It's all right, Kamiko Taylor. I'm still going to call your fucking name out. I'm still going to call your motherfucking name out. But right now, what you don't did, what you don't did, you really don't boost it up. I told your ass to disappear. I told your ass to back the fuck down. I also warned your ass that you found a real one. I ain't scared of you. See, unlike you, like I said before, I'm a grown-ass motherfucking woman. And you still doing childish-ass shit, so what'd you do? You just proved me right. You just proved me right. You a childish-ass bitch. What you need to be concentrating on while you sitting there posting shit on my post, which I thought I blocked your little silly ass, but while you on my post... And you putting out these vague ass posts about me being a fucking flunky? Bitch, what? That's supposed to make me upset? <laughs> it don't make me upset. It don't make me upset. Actually, it's quite comical. Because your ass still hurt. It's not my fault that your mama said you couldn't come without a permission slip. It's not my fault. You know? And frankly, I think you lied about your motherfucking age, you know? You keep telling everybody that you 46 years, 46 years old and shit. Bitch, you look more like 64. That's a damn shame. Now, while my face is all, you know, all tore up and shit this morning because I just woke up, I'm about to be 49 years old. That means if you actually 46, bitch, you younger than me and you look way older than I do. Won't you sit your old ass down somewhere? Sit your old motherfucking ass down some goddamn world. Find something to do. Like get those people back that money that you fucking raised to come to the retreat. And they all know your ass wasn't at the retreat. I know your ass wasn't at the retreat. Because I was there. Mm. So, uh, once you find a way to refund them people their money. Eh? Your ass still ain't in Oklahoma yet, but you asked for money for that shit too. When you gonna give them people their money back that you tried to raise? All them people that donated. And see all those people that are popping in your little posts and shit and right on and I got you and on point and all that shit. I wonder if they stupid little ass realize that uh, you still holding their motherfucking money. And you ain't did a goddamn thing that you said you was going to do. You ain't went to Oklahoma. Your ass ain't or did not go to the retreat because that's over with. And by the way, it was wonderful, baby. We had a good damn time. All right? Ooh, it was... Girl, I can't even start describing what it was like. It was awesome. Mm. But your ass still didn't get to go. So while you sitting here and you trying to come for me, baby, guess what? Challenge accepted. I'm on your ass now. You got my full undivided attention. I told you, bitch, don't come for me. I told you not to come for me. But you don't listen well. You don't listen well. It's probably why your ass ain't grew up yet. Because you didn't listen well. Still going through shit. Putting out fucking uh, broke back twerk videos and shit. At your age. And you didn't even do it right, honey. You didn't do it right. If that's the only way that you can get attention. That's really fucking sad. If that's the only fucking way that you can get some attention. You know. I mentioned to a couple people before that your ass looked like an old ass party girl. Maybe that's why your kids is mad at you. Because you was too busy out there trying to shake your little ratchet ass instead of take care of them. Hmm? 
Maybe that's why you on Facebook and everywhere else trying to get somebody to have sympathy for you because your son ain't got no love for you because you was in that room trying to break your motherfucking thotty ass, thotty out of ass down. Why you supposed to be watching them grandkids? You know? You's an old bitch trying to play a young woman's game. I'd sit my ratchet ass down if I was you. I don't see why you feel like you got to prove to somebody that you ain't broke down and you ain't worthless. You know, that, that says a lot about yourself, bitch. That says a lot about you. If that's the only way that you can prove to somebody that you still worth something, why don't you try proving to yourself that you worth something? You know, because all that shit comes from within. All that shit comes from within. You know? Oh, but that's something we learned at the retreat. You would have figured that out if you got to come to the retreat, if your mama would have let you come. You would have figured out that your self-worth comes from within, not from without. You would have figured out that, you know, it really don't matter what the fuck other people think about you as long as you got your own self-love. But you don't love yourself, bitch. You don't love yourself, and don't nobody else love your ratchet ass either. I keep telling you, you the love motherfucking factor. All you could do is sit on Facebook all day. Sit on YouTube all day and make some goddamn ratchet ass posts with your friends that don't give a fuck about you that wouldn't warn you that shit like this video right here was coming. It's all good, though. I know you're jealous. You said I had man hands, but they pretty, though, ain't they? They pretty. You wish you could have done it. You wish you could have been there. That's what I thought about when I saw that little post. When I saw that comment on my post, that's what I thought. I'm like, oh, she's still jealous and ass hurt. Well, guess what, baby? You're going to keep on being jealous and ass hurt. You're going to be more than ass hurt because I'm going I'm to get on your ass. I'm going to be on your ass every time you turn that motherfucking corner, bitch. You can't escape me. You can try. But your ass moved too slow. Mm, we saw what that damn offbeat ass twerk you did. Your ass can't get nowhere. But it's all right. It's good. I just wanted to say good morning to your ratchet ass and understand that you just stepped on the battlefield. Are you ready? You think you got your heart up yet? We finna find out. Let this be your warning, your slap in the face, you ratchet ass crib keeper looking little motherfucker. We finna find out just how much heart you really got. <laughs> Kamiko Taylor. Queen Miko, the truth seeker. I'm glad you are seeking the truth. Because you finna find it. I am the truth. Peace, Kamiko.